Hello friends, this is Satara. This is my eighth video. Who do I think I am? As you can see, today I am going to be showing you a flip through of my new pocket size TN from the Planner Society box. Um, I actually just put out a video showing all the planners that I'll be using for this year. But when I got this in the box and when I set it up, I was like, oh, I have to make sure to show my pocket size TN too. Um, because I think I just might use this for on the go planning, maybe writing my grocery list, um, taking notes just on the go. You know, that kind of stuff when you need a piece of scratch paper to write something down. Um, but instead, I'm going to be using this pocket size TN to do all of that. So um, let me just go ahead and flip through it. It is so pretty. As you can see, um, it is a pocket size TN again. So it's about, I won't even say the size of my hand. I have long fingers. But my hand is actually bigger than this. So it's super tiny. It is very compact. I basically opened up the box from the Planner Society and everything that you see was inside the box. Don't mind that, that's just some, some hot glue. So everything that you see was inside this, um, this past box from the Planner Society. So let me just go ahead and show you it. So first starting off with the pen, I just stuck the pen on here. But ain't it lovely? That is so pretty. So we have the floral pen. Um, it's a gel pen. Um, this is how it looks. It, all of her pens, or all of the pens that come in the Planner Society boxes, write beautifully. So this is the pen that I think I will just keep on the side of the little pocket tin. I think it's just cute. Hopefully it won't damage the little planner. But okay, let me... I will also show you this. So this is a little bow that you can just clip on. Um, so I clipped it onto the little string that's here. And then as you can see, there was like a little paper clip bow that I just stuck on the back and I just have it sticking out of the side. So let me open her up. You guys, I am a homebody. Um, so I thought it was only right that I had this little die cut right in the front. I thought it was cute to have the little house there with the little little mug with the heart inside of it. This just says Satara. Um, also, while I'm here, you can get a little bit of the pocket size TN here. Um, I want, forgive me if I'm using the incorrect term, but this is holographic. Um, so it the color changes as you move it around and the light it's really cute. I like that um, So this is the first little page that you see or this is called the dashboard that I made um, So basically um, what I did was cut out all of the paper from the planner society and I stuffed it inside of this TN as you can see on the side here um, there are little strings that you can attach the papers to and also the planner box did come with little um, inserts this time around so I put the inserts in there and then I also cut up some of the paper and put the paper in here too so let me just flip through I don't want to just talk through the whole thing because honestly for me I appreciate just looking at planner flip throughs so let me shut my mouth and I'm gonna just flip through here Okay, maybe I just can't not talk, but uh, this little sticker says Flossom. I thought that was so adorable. And that came in the box as well, so I just stuck that there. And so did this little sticker envelope. I stuck that in here, and I just put this little to-do tabs in here, as you can see. Super cute. Um, so this is one of the TNs, and this is the My List TN, or insert. I think what I'm gonna do is just write my grocery list in here because y'all, if I go in a grocery store and I don't have a list, I'm just gonna be standing there in the middle of the aisle, confused. Um, so I just might write my grocery list in here and take this, cause I will be taking this like in my purse when I'm out and about. 
all right so what I did here was just insert the acetate that came in the box so let me see if I can just show you so this is how the acetate looks alone and what I did was I just put it layered it on top of this dashboard that I created really pretty this is the back side of that then I have I mean honestly I'm not um, the best at creating dashboards and stuff this is my first time really doing it so all I did was cut out the piece of paper to match the size of the inserts in here and I just stuck a few die cuts on the piece of paper um, and then I have put some tabs on some of the um, pages as you can tell so that's that one um, this is just the middle of the string where I inserted a bunch of papers this is the other half of that acetate from earlier and this is the other half of the list from earlier that we saw um, so on the back of this insert I just put lists at the top um, and this is what you see sticking out of the TN at the top and I just put some glitter edges on the edge of this sheet that's the back of that insert really pretty here's just some paper if I could get it here's just some paper I hole punched or not hole punched um, I rounded the corners of the paper all I did was just cut out one like rectangle and then I rounded the corners and I just slid it into this little TN nothing difficult here is another acetate really pretty um, and I just stuck these die cuts on this sheet it's really cold outside yes I mean it's not really cold honestly where I'm at I'm used to it being a lot colder than it is but I'm not complaining with her little scar um, that's just the back side on this uh, little sheet I put another sticker that came in the box um, right in here and I stuck these stickers inside of this little envelope I thought that was really cute I plan to use all these stickers for like the regular pages as well I, I plan to use the stickers in these types of papers for now I just have them stuck in here all right so this is another TN okay so this is another TN a lot of people use these pages for like their um, regular like weekly calendars or weekly planners I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these pages for yet but it's good to just see I'm probably just gonna honestly look at YouTube for some other ideas and figure out what I want to do with these sheets um, as you can see I added just some glitter edges to the tops of some of these pages so that's that all right, so here we have some vellum that came in the kit this month. This is the pattern, super pretty. And this is another, well, here's the pattern on top of the dashboard. I think that's cute. And then this is just a little dashboard that I made, two candles. And then these are some stickers that came. It says, shine bright. See what I did there? Um, all right, so this is just, you know, a sheet right in here. The rest of the vellum and the rest of that insert. And that one I just put today for this little insert. Um, again, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to use these sheets for, but that's appropriate. Just writing today there. Um, okay, so we have some more of that acetate. Oh, these are just some little glitter edges too. They just don't take up the whole sheet, but um, they're just like little tabs and I think they're cute. All right, some more acetate. Aren't these designs just so pretty? I honestly just appreciate looking at this. And this is a, a vellum actually. So you have the regular paper. And then she had the vellum with this pattern on it with the rose gold foil in there really pretty uh, let's see if I could show the vellum on top of this dashboard not really you can't really see it but it's okay 
So here's this dashboard, just these uh, die cuts. They're little planners, as you can tell, and um, the pins to go along. So I just put this sticker here that says plan and two heart stickers. Little tab there. Then we have, again, this um, design on paper, and then I just put these two die cuts there with the tab. More of this vellum. I actually got, oh, well, this is vellum on top of vellum, but I don't know. I came to a point where I was just kind of stuffing stuff in here to just make it fit. Um, so we have vellum on top of vellum. This is so cute. Um, so here's some vellum, and you can see through where I have the rest of my die cuts. Uh oh. I think it's sticking to it. Um, oh. <laughs> It's not. All right, so what I did was just add this sticker envelope to the back of this vellum paper here. So on the inside, you can you can see here, um, I have a bunch of little die cuts in here. And let me just show you. So again, they're inside this little envelope. And let me just show you these prints. So pretty. So, so pretty. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna keep these facing this way so you can see it through the vellum. I thought that was cute. And then when you flip over, you, you can see the sticker or the envelope. This is my favorite. What is going on? Oh. Okay. This is my favorite design from this box. I just love these floral um, patterns all right so that's the vellum some more of the paper in here okay so this is the section of the planner where I was just like okay I gotta put it somewhere so there's all that and here is another dashboard this one says snuggle up and watch it snow and here's just a little die cut with I want to say this is like a little blanket with presents and a pillow inside of a basket and a little snowflake is back here. Really cute. All right, so this is the last insert that I have in here. And this one just says notes and it's dot grid. So I can do whatever I want with this one. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use it for per se, but I'm probably just gonna be writing random things like Instead of needing the scratch paper to write something down, I'm just going to use these note sheets. So that's that. There's some acetate on top of this little dashboard you can see in the back. Um, and this little tab here just says notes. Here's the dashboard. It says shine bright. Got the little girl there. And this is a little snow globe with the house and the bow on it. Really pretty. Um... Then you just have the other half, you know. So here's the rest of the notes insert. And what I did was I just added this little, oh, you can see my my scraps. All right. Um, what I did was I just added the little notes tab at the top so we can see that sticking out from the top. All right, and here I just added the little paper clip. It has a little star on it. Um, so I just added it to the side instead of like at the top because we already have these at the top but I still wanted to show this bow so I just kind of have it on the side there all right and what I did here was um, I took this little notes sheet it's a notepad and what I did was I just taped it to the paper this little paper uh, lace paper thing that comes in the box and after this these two were attached I just used some hot glue and I glued this to the back of the planner so that's the glue that you see here um, honestly I just wanted to make sure that I had the notes inside this planner um, in case I needed some extra room to just jot some down and I wanted to show off the lace here in the back once it's layered you can see the lace 
um, and it kind of just brings everything together to me. So I just wanted to make sure that I was using it and that was the best way that I could figure out. I'm gonna be okay with this. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it's all right. I needed it to stay in there somehow. Um, so th that's what I did there. And that is it. Let me close it back and add my pen back. Again, I'm just taking this little part of the pen and just, you know, sliding it on. Sorry if you can't see. So it's just sliding it onto the top. And this is what we got. I think this is adorable. Anytime I get a box with a little TN inside from the Planner Society, I always try to take my time and try to use up as many of the items in the box to fill up the TN. Um, so let me just really quickly show you a different one from a long time ago. This TN came in a Planner Society box a long time ago and all of the little decor pieces that you see are also from the Planner Society box. So again, every time I get a TN in the Planner Society box, which is not all the time, I always try to take my time to decorate them with the other Planner Society items. This one was the first time, uh, or this was the first time I received a pocket-sized TN. I want to say this is my very first pocket-sized TN. And when I be looking at other people's, I love when it be all chunky and you can, you know, just look at it. Um, <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm just admiring this one right now because I can't talk. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here, show you all what I did. Um, let you get a good look at it. I plan to do more flip through videos like this in the future. So let me know how you like it. Um, let me know how you like my little setup. Because let me tell you, this was some work trying to just get a nice view. A nice view, in my opinion. Um, okay, so let me see. Please like, comment, and, dis and <laughs> describe. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Um, I think, I think that's it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.